will be asked by Representative Seth Grove. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen, Judge Zekin, Judge Bear, thank you so much. Uh, I just wanted to kind of encapsulate what we're looking at with this year's budget. Uh, the governor's asking for a $4.8 billion tax increase this year. It's $12.7 billion over two years when you look at the full scope of how he's rolling out the tax increases. You have three co-equal branches of constitutional levels of government. You got executive branch, the legislature, and the judiciary. Two out of three are getting increases this year. You're a bunch of zeros. <laughs> Line item. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, your total budget, 347 million. You bring in 460. Uh, you're just asking for $30 million. Your pressure points are pensions, which my colleague's getting into. Um, contract negotiations for your employees are coming up. Is that a gubernatorial? Um, who, who, who sets employee as far as AOPC and, and kind of staff with the court system? Uh, we approve uh, their increases, but they're not unionized. There's no okay. negotiation. Okay. With the exception of some county uh, probation and, and the like. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that clarification. Um, have you looked at the governor's um, tax proposals, specifically the sales tax proposal and the access to justice issues built in with that at all? Uh, only what I've read in the paper. Okay. Uh, I understand the chief justice is. Uh, reached out to meet with the governor to talk about them. The specifics of it, I don't know. Though. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff in there. Um, handwriting expertise is not going to be taxed. You know, that's that's solely a jurisdiction of, of obviously within the court system. Um, you have all the attorney fees. I, I've been blessed. I have never had to hire an attorney for anything. Um, I understand it's it's expensive to do so, depending on what you're looking at. But all those added costs built into all the paperwork, all the filing fees, all that stuff just increases access to justice issues. Um, so you're really limiting the ability of general people to get access within the court system moving forward. I can't imagine that's a good or positive step moving forward. The other area is problem solving courts. Huge cost saver. Um, I've been to many of our graduations in York County. Um, I, I applaud our York County bench. I, I think they're some of the best um, judges at uh, promoting and moving forward with problem solving courts. Um, just today we had corrections in state police and I think some of the same sales tax hits, drug prevention, drug and alcohol counseling, mental health services, um, family mediation, parenting support, all those are now becoming taxable under the governor's plan and it's pulling money all savings from the problem solving courts and make that more expensive for average citizens to attain assistance. Um, I know you probably can't address most of this, but I just wanted to bring up the, the, the real effects of this budget, specifically with the judiciary and how important it is uh, within our, our commonwealth, um, the entire system. So I appreciate your time. I appreciate you coming in. And I also want to applaud um, um, your legislative people. been working on a business court concept with them. Still fleshing it out in detail, but I appreciate um, your uh, staff's ability to work with us and moving forward with that. So thank you. Thank you.